happening y'all we're talking low whistles and kind of doing a bit of a deep dive on the piper's grip why it's called that why we use it why you may not let's break it down first things first why do we even need it why can't you just play with your fingertips like this well I'm doing it, and straight away, this is uncomfortable. It just doesn't work for me. Doesn't feel right, doesn't feel like I can move very quickly. It's not impossible, it's just not altogether pleasant. So the first reason that you might consider going with a Piper's Grip is just overall comfort. Um, let's kind of establish how you would do it, how you'd actually hold the thing. Um, the way that I was taught when I was playing bagpipes, because let's not forget that part, that's where this comes from. This is a Highland bagpipe chanter. Uh, the concept works and is uh, taught on Illin pipes the same way. The way I was taught is, on the bagpipe chanter anyway, you take your lowest finger on each hand, and you would hold that on the instrument kind of the way you'd expect to if you were playing fingertips. So in this case, they're, you know, they're kind of like you'd expect. Holding the instrument, uh, with really just those two fingers and your two thumbs, your, your thumbs go wherever they need to in order to keep it balanced. Like, I'm not going to drop it like this. You know, I can move it around. It's not super secure, but it's comfortable enough. Then, you just let your other fingers fall down naturally on top. So, that's how you would do Piper's Grip. So, just they fall down. And so, some of them are kind of in the middle joint. Some of them are kind of in between. But that's ultimately where it goes, so that your hand is sort of flat and straight across. Same concept with a low whistle. Uh, in this case, we're going to start with ring fingers. You put your two ring fingers here, and then your other fingers are just going to fall down naturally. That's how I would do it. That's how I would uh, advise everyone to try it. At this point, if this is comfortable, great. If it's not, you can always try rotating your hands, and I would use these two fingers as sort of a pivot point and rotate around that to see what feels the most comfortable and what gives you the ability to hit the notes as cleanly as you would like. When you get to a comfortable position where it feels like it's not going to slip out, it feels for it fairly natural, run a few scales with it and see if you're covering the holes cleanly. If you've got the upper octave, so be it. But mostly just making sure that each note sounds as cleanly as you would expect and as you would hope when you're playing the instrument. If not, maybe try that trick of rotating your hands a little bit, see if you get better coverage over the hole, see if it, if it fits a little bit better. Now, I would apply this technique as far down as an F whistle. That's what I've got here. I do the same thing on the F whistle, pinkies, or not pinkies, ring fingers on the two bottom holes and let my other fingers just kind of fall across. And that feels perfectly comfortable on this. Your mileage may vary depending on at what point the Piper's Grip does or does not work for you. In my case, that's where it is. If I go to the A whistle, which would be the next one that I've got, I'm using kind of more traditional fingertip style placement, right? Kind of what you'd, what you'd expect. If I do try to do the Piper's Grip on this one, they're just not going to, they're not really going to go very far. It's kind of like that, really. And that doesn't really do much for me. All it does is kind of put that joint over the hole, which is not going to seal very well. I can do it. it just doesn't feel as good as, as regular fingertips. So that point where it starts to feel a little bit uh, weird may vary depending on how big your hands are and what type of whistles you're playing, that sort of thing. So try it out, see what works, see if it feels like it's comfortable. If you get to the point where it hurts, something's not right. It's never going to do that. And if you are, then something's... You're going to have to adjust one way or the other. Um, but it should it should feel pretty comfortable. It should feel balanced, even without these other hand, other fingers on here. Again, just wherever you need to put your thumbs to keep it balanced, that's kind of job one. Make sure that that works first. And then let the other fingers just fall down naturally. Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.